Hello world and welcome to this, the third video in my series of short sharp looks at the new features in Photolab 8. And item number three, again these are in sort of order of how helpful I find them. Or number three is going to be a look at the tweaks to the compare tool. I think they're going to be super handy and especially in a couple of different situations. So let's jump in and take a look. All right, everyone, here we are in Photolab, and let's jump right into looking at this compare tool. It is up here where it has always been, and if I click compare, it does what you might expect. It's showing me the before and after, that's before, and that's after. And if I click that down, we can see that it is doing, basically it's showing me when I click it, no corrections, except for it's still including any geometric or ge geometry corrections. So that is pretty standard behavior. Now, another thing that has been the case for ages, and I don't know if everybody knew this, but it's been there for a long time at least, is that I, down here I've got a virtual copy, and to make it look different, I've just converted it into black and white and made a couple of little tweaks. And uh, if I wanted to compare it against the black and white, I can do that too, because when I've got a related image, it will show here. You can see it's in virtual copies. So I can now compare that against the virtual copy. And when I do that, it does like that. And if I were to put it into a side-by-side -side compare, it side-by-side -side compares like that. But again, that's not yet new behavior. What is new behavior, I'll put this back just on plain old, is that I can set another non-related image. So for example, I've got this image and if I wanted to try to make sure that my sort of color balance and skin tones were close because these are part of a series, I might want to be able to compare them back and forth. So if I either right click on here and come up here to use image as reference, or just while I have this one selected, if I come up to the compare space and I come down here and do use current image as reference, Either of those will be fine. So I've now set that as the reference and then I click back to my other image and I can get a sense for how they compare. Do the colors look right? How are the skin tones, etc.? Can zoom in, can zoom in, do a little bit of a comparison and that's really, really helpful for that type of thing. Just zoom those back out. Now I feel compelled to say, but wait, there's more. And what is the more, you might ask? Well, there's one more feature. So if I just jump over to this one, and wait now, I'll just bring this back to compare to itself. Yeah, so now it's comparing to its own original, and I'll put it back like that. So that's kind of back to, back to standard. Let's say that I crop this image, and it's, I've done 10 different headshots, and I want them to have a similar crop. But I, I start out here cropping, uh, and I, uh, let's see, I'll just drag that and make, make that flip over to portrait, and I'll just make this be four by five, and I line it up here the best I can. That should be good. But I wanna know, you know, of course you want the crops to be pretty similar. You want the face sizes in a series like this to be, you know, matching one another more or less. So let me close this and show you another new feature. So if I come here and I go down to select a reference image, so I'll just do that. Now, I've previously navigated here, so you'll need to navigate to where you need to go, but this is just in my file structure. I've made a folder, pictures and compare, and I'll grab that picture, click open, and now I can compare the crop side by side. And I think that actually his head should be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to just re-enter my crop mode, which will kind of take away that view for a minute, but that's fine. And what did I say? I wanted his head to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to just make this a bit smaller, this box, and do something like that. I'll cut a bit of his hair off. He has too much hair anyway, right? And, uh, sorry. Have to, I'm just sitting here laughing at my own joke now. And, and with that done, I'll just I'll close that and then come back to my side-by-side -side compare view. And then I can make a judgment. Do I feel like I've got the face sizes uh, appropriate? So I think that's going to be a really helpful feature for me. Absolutely loving it. 
And that, my friends, is a quick look at the newly improved Compare tool. Now remember, this is a part of a series. Please check out the other videos in the series if you're interested. And also, in the description, I will put some affiliate links. So if you're thinking of trying or buying, I would really appreciate your support if you were to use those links. Thanks for watching, and I will talk again soon. Bye for now.